Okay, some of you have asked to see more of uh, my kind of gardening or what I'm doing, for example, here in the vine house at the moment. Isn't that right? Yes, you want to get very involved. <laughs> okay, well, basically what I'm doing here is these are strawberries that have been in boxes. And what I'm doing is pruning off the dead leaves. And basically that allows for the, prevents them going moldy uh, it, here in the vine house, but it also makes it a fresh start for the new strawberries when they're coming on. So in the new season, but it makes it so that there's less likelihood of um, mildew and mold getting rid of all the dead leaves or dying leaves. And it just makes it so much easier um, in maintaining everything here because it's indoors, but outdoors, you can have a real issue with mold and mildew. And plants that are living and sensitive to it just are no fun whatsoever. So that's what I'm doing at the moment is um, pruning these out and I'll show you, okay, I've done half of this box. So I'll show you what half of the box is like. Um, and then Inca's made herself very comfortable on another pot. <laughs> She's sitting on the strawberry plants, which is fine. They'll be very hardy. <laughs> strawberry plants are hardy. <laughs> But as you can see, I've got my helpers are very good at being helpful. Inca is now actually in the strawberry box <laughs> that I <laughs> have just cleaned. Here's Inca. These are, this is the strawberry plants that I've just pruned out. As you can see, some of them have no leaves. Some of them have one or small leaves, here's one. But here, see this leaf I would prune out and this one, but I'd leave that green one. And here you can see, this is half. See, I've done that half. This half still needs to be done. And here's Inca going across. I've done these beds already, the, or these boxes of strawberries already. So I also have to Today I'm gonna pot up, these are, um, oh, I'm being stupid. Anyway, these are one, two, three, four, five, six. I have to pot these up. Uh, they are not frost hardy and I brought them in. Uh, salvias, Sylvia's, salvias, that's what they are. But look, she's definitely decided that that's the spot she's gonna be. So that's basically what one of my jobs I'm gonna do today because it's raining outside. So, oh, you wanna go back outside? Okay, go on, go on. They all wanna go outside. I have all this bubble wrap along the bottom of the door to prevent drafts. So all my babies over here, my cuttings are okay. These are salvia cuttings that I did earlier this autumn, hopefully they will, this winter, hopefully they'll survive. These are geraniums. Here's some more geranium cuttings. This is my garlic. This is my wonderful thermostat. It only went down to six last night. These are geranium cuttings, some of which aren't gonna make it. Here's more geranium cuttings, more geranium cuttings. This isn't, this is a funny kind of clover. I've got a couple of pots of that. But um, yeah, so trying to protect my baby plants over there has been an issue this winter. And I've got all these fleeces that when it's been really, really cold, hopefully these guys will survive. I've pruned them right back. There is a bit of growth down at the bottom, not much, but they might not survive. So we'll see what survives and what doesn't. There's, these still have to be potted up outside. I've chopped this one back and I've left these going 
just to see, uh, to have a rotation of them. Anyway, this is, uh, so I'm working on strawberries today uh, in the vine house. And I think I've got somebody coming to do the door frame for me in uh, the new year. Uh, lovely fellow. So hopefully I will get a real door in the new year. Anyway, I'm gonna keep pruning my strawberries. So all my strawberries have now been cleaned of their um, dead leaves. Well, mostly cleaned of their dead leaves. The vast majority. And I've cleaned up a lot of the tomatoes. There's only a few left with some straggly fruits maturing before they ripen. And you can hear the rain is falling. You can see the garden outside. And I have one assistant, Inca went out to play. But this is my uh, bin of detritus. So I'm going to bring this outside. Whoops. Oh, getting soaked in the process to add to what's already in the wheelbarrow. So it is a constant cycling nutrients. Ooh! And it's really beginning to rain. Rain barrels are all full. The hose here is to fill the horse's water tank, is what that hose is going through there. Anyway, I'm going to go back inside and do some more dry stuff in the dry.